All right, man. Welcome back to the show. This is Northwest Studios. My name is Jay. Straight to the point with today's video. Big time temptation to gamble, right? Three and a half months. Have not gambled. This weekend was really tough. You see the title of this video, Relapse is not a part of recovery. And for me, the big trigger always is boredom, right? Didn't have any plans for this weekend. Found myself just getting bored and depressed. And for some reason, that casino was calling me. Now, as you know, I've self-excluded from one of them. But this other one's about an hour away. Just calling to me. Because the fact is, when I play, sit in front of my machine, slot machine of choice, right? I am entertained. I am thoroughly entertained. And I no longer feel lonely and bored. And do magic pause, continue this in a second. All right, magic pause undone. You know, um, ever since I have some kind of religious and spiritual code and a way to live, if you will, and forgive the acne patches. Might not have seen them if I hadn't mentioned it, right? Ever since I've had spirituality and God in my life, I've known that if I go back to gambling, it would be a direct violation of my own beliefs, right? The things that quitting gambling brought me to in the first place, because being sober from gambling helped me realize that I needed a higher power in order to continue, right? Some source of strength in order to avoid the casino and gambling. And uh, since then, God has become part of my life, as you've heard on these videos. Now, that makes some people, some viewers uncomfortable, right? Even hearing about God. And that's fine. I apologize about that. If you are not religious, then I respect you. But I have become born-again Christian, really, through quitting gambling. And so I know that when I have this huge temptation, huge urges to gamble, right? it can only be mm, some kind of evil calling to me. So I pray on it. And long story short, this weekend, because of the boredom, because of forces I don't fully understand, mm, I've been called to gamble. And if we can pass these tests, right, this video is about resisting temptation, and you don't have to be religious or spirit or spiritual in order to appreciate the concept of resisting temptation and to resist temptation. What is the temptation in your life, right? What is it to get back together with your ex-girlfriend, to drink alcohol, to do drugs, to quit your job? It could be so many different things, and that is your own personal devil. Again, you don't have to be religious in order to appreciate that kind of devil-on-your-shoulder idea. We all have that, right? And to resist temptation, to pass the test, is very difficult. I think I've done it this weekend. That's why I'm making this video, is to hopefully inspire others while sharing how difficult it can be. So... Alcohol is something I haven't done in almost 10 years. It is not a temptation for me. It's not. But if I were to look at three and a half months into quitting drinking, I know that it was. And there are certain time points during your journey of recovery. With alcohol, you know, a year in, I think I was really tempted to drink. And then a few years, and then seven years for whatever reason, got that seven year itch. And I haven't had a big craving to drink in a very long time. And so as my buddy Sam and I were discussing yesterday, sometimes with recovery from drugs, alcohol, gambling, it's just literally a matter of time. And I think I can forgive myself for some of these big temptations to drive to that casino and play because ultimately I enjoy playing slots. It's entertaining. It's a huge thrill when you make a bunch of money, right? But it only leads to wanting more. That's why slot machines in particular are very much like cocaine. Very much like it. Because you can win, and you're still going to want more. You're going to want to do it. So this was 
the most kind of triggered I've been to gamble, and I certainly didn't help myself by watching slot machine videos, um, which I'm going to continue to do tonight, even though I know it's bad for me. It's certainly a lot better than going to the casino, although they also, in the same token, make me want to go there. So I know I just need to quit it with the slot machine videos, right? That needs to end. And I had a long conversation with my buddy Sam last night about seasons. I guess the final point of this video, it is a new season. Summer's over, you know. I was able to pass the entire summer, and then some, without gambling. The last day I placed a bet was June 2nd, 2024. Passed the entire season of summer without gambling. And in some kind of weird cosmic way, the biggest temptation to gamble is on the first day of fall today you know i was pretty tempted yesterday but today i'm just like going out of my mind crawling out of my skin right and yes sometimes i do have to smoke a cigarette or eat candy or do some dumbass shit in order to distract myself from these gambling urges because it's just like the weekends are the hardest i'm in a new town I've been going through these spiritual experiences and watching creators like Mark the Messenger. Check him out if you're at all spiritual. Very inspirational guy. And he says that when you're going through something like this, a new awakening, it's okay to isolate. It's okay to be alone. In order to hear some of the messages, right? And um, am I insane, right? I was talking to my mom today and saying there's a there's a thin line between religion and mental illness, you know, and how when people are sent to prison, one of the first things they do is pick up religion simply because they're lonely and scared. It's a band-aid. So there's the big cynical question over everything. Is religion fake? Mm. All I know is it brings me a lot of comfort and it brings a lot of other people comfort. And, um, I've had some experiences that cannot be denied and I won't describe them because they're too personal. And this relates to gambling because it is the wrong thing to do. It's the wrong thing for me or anybody to do because it goes against the ideas of hard work and contributing. And, you know, every, every dollar that you win in a casino is a dollar that someone else lost. And so it's this perpetual cycle of misery. You know, if you participate in gambling, it's almost like hmm, participating in the drug trade. You know, buying cocaine or something contributes to all the human suffering and trafficking that brought it here. So it's important to stay out of certain trades. Gambling, drugs, alcohol. Is this a lecture? No, no. I'm lecturing myself, right? It's been very hard to stay away from gambling this weekend, but... Now I have clients to inspire. If I fail, maybe I don't tell them about it, but it's a secret I keep, right? I see a gambling client this week. What am I going to tell her? I see a guy who hasn't drank in a couple weeks this week. What am I going to tell him if I relapse? What I did tell him last session is relapse is not a part of recovery. Why did I say that? Because in inpatient and in certain recovery circles, they say relapse is a part of recovery. Well, who does that help? That just lets the addict off the hook. That would, if I call my sponsor today and he says, well, Jay, relapse is a part of recovery, you know, um, sometimes you do fall off the wagon, then you better believe. He's just given me permission to go to the casino, or at least that's how my demented, addicted brain is going to take it. Right? So I'm not letting my addicted clients off the hook. If they have sobriety, they owe it to themselves and to me, frankly. To show up every week and tell me they didn't relapse. Part of the deal is I'm also not going to relapse. I've been pretty open about my gambling problem with several different clients. Right? Because when we tell people we hold ourselves accountable. We ask them to hold us accountable. When we make videos like this. You remember the last one I did? In my car like this. Talking about being suicidal. Three and a half months ago. I'm not going back to that, you guys. So... Making this video has been cathartic for me. It's certainly helpful. If you're struggling with not just an addiction, but something you do not want to do again, 
but you're being pulled in that direction in, in a way you don't fully understand, um, just know that that is a relapse. To do it again is a relapse. You have worked hard for your clean time, so to speak, for your days off of your habit, this permanent change. Relapse is anti-recovery, and it's going to make it that much harder to get to get on the wagon again. So I want to thank you for watching. I haven't gambled. I'm going to re-engage with Gamblers Anonymous tomorrow because part of the problem is I took about three weeks off from attending. And this is what happens. Temptation, triggers, near relapses. All right. Talk to you guys later. See you.